A dream means nothing if it's left on the pillow. But dreams, they don't work unless you do. 26 weeks ago, we started our prep in hopes of finally, finally reaching our goal of going pro. This prep has been like no other one before. This is our third time around going to nationals. This prep has brought sides out of me that I didn't know I had, strength out of me that I didn't know I had, mental toughness that I didn't know I had. We've in a sense changed our goal. It used to be just the pro card. Now it's the pro level physique. Last prep, the universe, we got fifth, and I thought I gave it everything that I had. But this time around, we pushed ourselves physically further than ever before. No one told me that this prep was going to be as hard as it was. There was times where I honestly felt like giving up. But the beauty of bodybuilding is that no one was coming to fucking save me. It was me versus me every single damn day. No one could do the suffering for me. No one could do the hardship for me. No one could eat tilapia and asparagus. No one could do rounds of posing to make sure that we were ready, except for me. What this prep taught me, and I hope all you guys that have watched this journey get out of it, suffer now and celebrate later. Here, what's going on everybody? We are here in Vegas, we are here for USA's. This is it, 26 weeks of prep comes down to tomorrow and Saturday. So today's Thursday, uh, we're about to go check in get our height and weight measured. Uh, we, I think we're bringing a tighter physique than, than last show. And I think last show we were already lights out. So I think we're going the right way. I honestly have no idea. I'm super tired. Cody is here. I haven't met Cody yet. Uh, he got in super late. I'm slumped by like eight o'clock and it's, it's GG. So yeah, back to the muscle contest. So here it is. It's all, there's lots of different emotions running. Got a ton of support here. Uh, obviously Chase here, Eddie's on the camera, Calvin's pulling up, Chase's parents are showing up, so like super dope to have, you know, that kind of support. I've never had anything like that before, so hoping this is smooth, we can get in, get out, maybe they'll let Eddie film, maybe they'll be hoes, who knows, but I just want to weigh in so I can start fucking eating. Then we got our tan later, athlete meeting later, oh this is so... This, my first ever national show was USA's, and I placed in the bottom 16, I didn't even place. And so, what that table is over there, is it's a bunch of different merchandise, it's a bunch of them, it's like IFBB shit. Uh, there's some NPC shit, but like, you like the IFBB Pro League, like tracksuit. I remember I bought an NPC one, uh, cause we obviously fell super short. And I got to see Marcus, Marcus went pro, Marcus Hunter, shout out Marcus. Uh, at USA is when I first watched, so, or my first time going there. So, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to come back over here and purchase some stuff. We'll know where we're at classic wise tomorrow, uh, which will obviously dictate the whole fucking trip, but hey, it is what it is. We, we, we're bringing in our best, we just gotta hope that our best is enough. Hit it, class C, class B. Thank God, because, uh, we would have measured in half an inch shorter. We would have had to lose two pounds. Which I don't know if we got two pounds to lose, but we're gonna head back. I just texted Cody. Hopefully, he tells us that we can like start to eat now. Fucking hungry. Um, and then I'll give you guys a physique update. Also, the pictures are gonna be fucking crazy. The lighting in the in the hotel room is fucking nutty too right now. So, because then when we come down here, let me double check. I think it'll be athlete meeting and then going to get our tan. I'm gonna see if, if Cody's awake, maybe we'll, we'll stop at his um, his room and then have him like look us over. Yeah, so we can't get tan till one o'clock. So, another fucking gap, but this is the perks of being in the host hotel. Just a little walk all the way back. I think this is where the show's gonna be. Dude, no way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta do it, right? Dude, what Obviously, that's why you're here. It's good to Dude. see you. I was hoping that you were gonna Looking be coming. Good, I love your shoes. Thank you, man. Yeah, this is my first, um, this is my fourth national event, but it's my first big show back since I broke my arms, since all this shit happened. Yeah, yeah, I'll be up there. Oh, it's got oh. super heavy? No, just heavy. Bright on the edge, though. So once I carve up, I'll be like a good 228. Oh, that's what you want to be. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking exciting. But it's my first year back since like all the injuries and all the nonsense and stuff like that. So I'm just excited yeah, to be I'll here, be get a look at everybody and me. Yeah. And then like start looking at next year. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll go su super well for everybody. Yeah, you know, I mean, shit, showing up condition is half the battle. Yeah, yeah, like and I brought that. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, but I'm a little, I feel a little undersized because of like the broken arms and coming back. So that's how I feel right now. That's my only, my only point. I mean, if the conditioning is there, you can make, I mean, like, I know my upper yeah. body is undersized for some of these classic guys. I know lower body, I'm sure. And that's the thing, like you said, like, when we're conditioned, like, somebody could be, like, 180, somebody could be, like, 260, and they still can fight. Yeah. And as long as I can have fun fighting, exactly. that's, like, that's yeah, all that's that's I'm saying. I didn't know you were fucking competing. I thought you were just going to be here just to, like, be here. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. stop by. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. I mean, I would, but what is it, like, it's, like, 200 bucks a ticket to watch, right? Yeah, that's it. Which is fun. It's, you pay like 170 good. extra dollars, you can compete, why not? Yeah, everybody's about to show up, yeah. <laughs> So, but you're finished, huh? Wait in, good to go. Yeah, I'm gonna Number come back at like 11. Yes, sir. Are you classic? Classic and men's physique. Oh, good deal. I can dig that. So, I'm jazzed. I'm excited. Yeah, this is awesome, man. It's great to find the man. Hell yeah. Well, good luck. Yeah, man. I'll see, I'll you, see you around. around. Sure. Okay, yeah, I'll see you backstage. See the Familiar yeah. face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's crazy. I didn't expect to run into Zig the Monster. Shout out to Zig the uh, fucking beast. Yep. Killing it on uh, social media. Hey, hey nice to be yeah, starting up with you, bro. You here for the show? Uh, yeah, uh, one of my boys is competing in the Open Division. And so uh, I'm hoping to compete in like uh, October, November. So I want to get my first What show? Yeah. I'll be in class. You can do like NPC, you can do summer shredding, summer shredding in October. Uh, probably, I'll probably do NPC first. Good? Alright, man. I'll catch you around, man. Thank you, man. That was dope. Cody, wake your ass up. Oh, he's still fucking sleeping. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of room tour. Hold on, don't show this, because I need to make This right here will only be shown if we earn the right to show it, AKA we turn pro, and you guys will see that. But this is our little setup over here. So we got water for days, salt free rice cakes for days. You come down here, we got the mini fridge, loaded up, beef, tilapia, asparagus, some meals already made. Uh, in here we have our carbo goodies. We're like backstage goodies. Got our sweet fish on deck. Then that's where all the magic happens. Come over here. On my side of the sink we have a fork, some basic stuff, some diet water. You can show all that, there's nothing that's bad. And then we have our electric burner and rice cooker, which I had to bring here in my suitcase because they don't they don't have fucking, well, I knew that, I figured they'd have a fridge, but they don't do microwaves here. This has a seat lighter. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What does it have you at? Oh, but that's how we are looking. We are currently waiting on Cody to text us back. Once he texts us back on what we can eat, we'll go from there. We only have a little bit of food, but it's important as we eat to run through posing and pumping up, forcing that food into the muscle, also squeezing out any water that might still be in our muscles. Also, this will give me a good uh, like indication of 
what we're gonna need to do to pump up and how to like completely pump up. Last time backstage, uh, we just pumped up our shoulders, biceps, and chest. I think this time I really wanna try to get some blood in my back. We'll see. Well, we're over here in Jay's kitchen, about to whip up some beef. Three ounces of beef, seven ounces of rice. It's gonna be pretty much the same carb as last time. Obviously, we really nailed our conditioning. So, um, just watch, wash and repeat. Yeah, my shit's still not at three. Now, I tried to order some more fucking ground beef and it was all sold out. And the dude had like, I don't know if you guys ever Instacart. I Instacart a ton, deep into prep, just cause it's not worth my time and like damn I don't know if that just got caught on camera but food just fell out of my mouth <laughs> um dude replaced it mind you I got 93 he replaced it with 85 15 I was like please don't grab that don't make me pay for that this fucking takes 10 years to warm up I even bought a better one like this is like 1300 watts or is it 1800 I don't know it was like a nicer one more expensive but it takes 10 years to heat up. We're gonna heat that meal up. We got probably, what is that? There's 10 ounces in there. What time is it? Yeah, we have 20, about 20 ounces of water. It's straight coffee. And then uh, we're gonna hit our dandelion root, vitamin C and digestive enzyme with this meal. And then in about 30, 40 minutes, we're gonna hit some rice cakes with almond butter. I'm over these guys. These little baby ass little rice cakes. We, we got the real deal, holy field now. We could have some fucking almond butter on it. I'm so hyped for that. But there he is, iced out. What up? What's good, bro? It's only been like three years. How you doing, man? Chilling, chilling. Chillin'? What's good, what's good? How's it going, man? Eddie. Chilling. Where's your room? Not that one? Oh, no, it's over here in the corner. Oh, that's why I had yeah. no idea. I was walking around, I was like, I don't even know where I'm going right now. Yeah, no, we gotta go all the way down there. Okay, okay. Well, first off, how you feeling? Uh, like. Confidence wise or like food wise? No, I mean confidence wise it should be high as hell. But I mean, I, mean, I'm I know about, like, I are you about to fall on the floor or are you feeling okay? Uh, I definitely still feel super flat and I'm fucking hungry. My body burned through. That's, I mean, I yeah. came back and waited up on myself on the scale and I was 183.8. I didn't even give you any fats. I was just scared you were going to yeah. bump up the second out a meal. So I wasn't sure what we were going to do from there. Yeah. But now we could actually give you some fats. I think we're right. We can see how you're doing. Yeah, it's it good to go. Yeah. He, he, we already tried to get him yeah. in. Yeah, we already did it. Yeah. Yeah, say I'm checking in and they'll just let you in. I didn't I didn't really peak, but you know it's fine. Yeah. They yeah. don't know that. I'm, I'm in the natural class. Here. I'm also competing too, uh, just to pad the numbers. We're, pad we're, we're actually in the powerlifting contest. Yeah. We didn't even know they had one here. We're gonna we're gonna start one. How are you letting so, film on a can? I'm gonna be doing so it's, it's Sony Master Race. Know that. He's shaking his head right. You can't see it, he's shaking his head. <laughs> All I have is a So we're gonna go do our athlete meeting, get our other bullshit, then we'll come out and be chilling. And then uh Yeah, I really don't. Uh, as like we're trying to keep the energy goes. high, and like as it goes on, we keep meeting more people. It's just yeah. like, shh. hopefully we get to fucking eat. Yeah, that was oh dude, the meeting didn't take that long. To come down. I picked random people to interview. I don't know if it's because I was handsome that they chose me. Because he didn't. Nice team, bro. I don't know nice if it's because I had followers, but he didn't really know who I was. I don't know. I got picked. But then there was like eight guys in front of me. Each interview took like three minutes. It is what it is. But now we got a time range of when we get our tan. Probably go eat because I'm hungry. And whatever else Cody time says. Some meat, time some carbs. Let's do it. Yeah, we got Cody hasn't even seen what I look like. I can look like I, shit I, under here. <laughs> no Actually, let's let's do a quick checkup really quick while I'm here. Am I busting out the legs too? Yeah, I think so. TikTok probably won't allow that, but you know, we'll do that for our own course personal, you know. This is how many meals in? Uh, three. Actual meals. Yeah, I was almost scared about the whole flight holding some water. Now you're looking pretty good. Nothing some uh, vitamin C won't fix. Vitamin C, I'm sweating. Probably some good news. You're not gonna have to go hop in the treadmill, you know, hop in the sauna. Or something. That's uh, some good news. So what do you think? 12% body fat? I was thinking more like 15. 
you know. I thought you'd be a little bit leaner today. You know, you only, you only have striations on your striations, but I'll take it. Like 16, 17 percent. Once we cut water, I think it'll be down. You know, maybe 10 from TikTok analysts. One can hope. Look at butt cheeks. I did meal one, I think it was red meat. Yeah, so we would do another one. We only need red meat the first half of the day and then we use the fats from the almond butter later. I have a couple extra hours. Yeah. We don't need to cut at four sharp and you go to bed at 10, that's a long time. Oh, there's no way I could go to bed at 10. Wait, you go to bed at really? five? And then he's cooking tilapia at 5.30 in the morning. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like 8, typically. PM? In Texas, which would be 10. No, but on a regular day, you go to bed at 8? Yeah, because I wake up super early. Like, but I anytime I'm on bed. TikTok Live at 1 in the morning, you're in my life. Mm, occasionally, if I'm up, if I can't sleep. Uh, I'm, 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 I was like, you're going to sleep. I was like, the math, the like math is not math in Jay. I'm up at 12 and you're up in my well, life. I typically, like, <laughs> when I was running the melatonin, it's like 8 o'clock. What is going on? She's like, why are you up so early? I was like, it's really 7.30 if you think about it. <laughs> Technically. And it's like, I was up since 5, just laying in bed like, fuck. Maybe I can fall back asleep because she's going to get pissed. I can't send check-ins. I can't post with yet because it needs to be dark. And I was like, right, open, the <laughs> That wasn't until you were up. No, no. So we love burgers and fries and all that and shakes. And we're at Bobby Flay's burger place. And I get to watch everyone out and eat a burger while I eat flopping and rice. But it's okay. Because we suffer now, we'll celebrate later. You, you, you want a little nibble? A little bite? Trick question. It doesn't bother you. Got, you got to spit it out though after, but. <laughs> People do that? That'd be, that'd be even worse. That'd be, that'd, that'd be depressing. I'm like, fuck that. See, if I got fries, I'd actually get to, get to eat them. So I mean, you're probably going to get fries. It's just. So, what is the, the science? behind that of not having any sodium in the beginning of the day and then all the sodium in that just one I guess meal and then no sodium again. Yeah. I mean real we're trying to deplete it. So like month well it depends how you're split up. The way that have your split up is we like fill you full of sodium, right? Like make your body look like a water buffalo. So then when we cut it you pee out more water than what you had beforehand. So you're even more dry. But at some point we need to add sodium back into your lot. We need sodium to get a pump. We need so sodium to be a lot. Once you're there then you yeah. need to do this. Yeah. Gotcha. Because I mean there's different ways too because if we were for sure planning to use a diuretic I probably wouldn't cut salt. You know, we can't use a dyes out or whatever if we know that we're going to give you something that's going to cut your sodium or cut your potassium. So I go into the thinking we're not going to use a diuretic. You know, I would hope not. Maybe tomorrow, but you know, in general, like I go in and think we're not going to do it. But that's it. Fill your body up with water, pee up more water than what you had before. It. The general idea of it. We'll save any sort of fats or anything before bed. And you want me to finish that by four. And then anything past this, just small sips for your water is fine, or for your pills is fine. Does it matter if it's coffee or not? I'd probably cut coffee soon, so it doesn't mess with your sleep. Because you know, caffeine, it doesn't just like go in and out, you think it shit yeah. lingers. Shit, so shit. coffee now, finish that, and then anything else is small sips or regular water is fine. Cool. And then 2,000 vitamin C serving it. Any, yeah, anything else moving forward is your full dose of uh, Daniel and Rose Jack, but there's two, three pills, whatever it is, full serving, and then 2,000 milligrams vitamin C, yeah. So you'll probably get total, Three more of those. I think we'll probably be able to get three more of those. Two for sure. Three if we have time. Is that three more meals? No, no, I'm talking about just oh. the pills itself. Gotcha. But it, it just depends. Like, if we look at you and you're dry to max and like you keep peeing, it's like we're not going to give you more. You know, yeah. we're not trying to make you so depleted that like you're, you're dehydrated that you're on the floor. Because we still got to expel before bed. We still got two more doses of that. Like, it should be enough. You don't really have much more water on you. And for emergencies, we still got the back of one. I brought it with me to the gay, so, you know. Got that dang on us. Yeah. Our body is super sore. But, super dry. That's what this fucking. God damn. But we ordered our fry. Definitely getting a little incoherent, but Cody said have two rice cakes and toss some salt on there. So we're going to have our water pills. A little bit of water. Just enough to get it down. I was hoping that we were gonna get some almond butter. This almond butter tastes so fucking good, bro. 
I don't know if this is really going to hit. Because I feel like this is just. I'm starting to get super fucking thirsty. And I think this is just going to make me more thirsty. But. Cold sodium to dry the fuck out. Fucking right there. Mm, that's what I want. Oh, we also got some rice cooking up. You know what I'm saying? We're running low. Got about 10 ounces of rice there. That should get us through one more meal. I just want to see one thing. So bring your shoulder to the tangy. Bring that shoulder back just like a drop. Because it just looked like when you went, it looked like when you did it you like hunched over like this went down and then your peck followed it. So I don't need to fucking back here. I'm just saying in general, you went like this and then your peck went down and followed it. <clears throat> but I mean, once you get a chest bump too, it would probably be more obvious like what is working, what's not. But that was the only thing I saw, everything else was fine. Is it good now? Yeah. I'm still surprised you're able to keep your core pretty tight though. You know, you're pretty, you're pretty deep food in wise. You know, the core's still hanging on. Perks yeah, are getting shredded early. fucking just. I want to see, I want to hit my back a little and see if you notice the difference. I mean, outside of anything, the only thing I really think that we need a big notice is like fr from the front, like chest wise. Because your leg, or I'm talking about classic, not men's physique at the moment, but I'm saying in general, your leg's so fucking big that we need to make sure your chest is hella full so our eyes don't go directly to your legs. Even though I don't know if that's possible, we still want to make sure, you know, we look at the chest too, you know? Gotcha. You don't think, so like, just emphasis on the chest when I'm back pumping up? I don't know, you're gonna pump everything up. I'm saying like make sure the chest is full of house. Like that's that's like, like chest, my chest gets pumped up the easier. Did you no I mean this is gonna be different because you're doing classic one day, men's physique one day, but did you notice the difference pumping up between the two? Like putting your full effort into one class and then you go to the next class? Uh I was a lot more fatigued. I actually no, because it was I was already pumped up because it was like right after the other one, it was pretty fast. But gotcha. by finals, I was like Bro, I don't want to do my routine. It's like I want to fucking call. I was like, give me my trophy. <laughs> Tell me I'm in the overall. I'm out. Let me know where I'm at for my physique and let me get the fuck out of here. Got the goods. Changed that one with the five guys little fry instead of the Chick-fil-A large fry. Like yeah, I'm excited for this, but I know it's gonna make me thirsty as fuck. That's what I really feel right now. I'm super thirsty. But it's gonna bring in another level of fullness and some sodium. Pumps, fullness, we're good. We're gonna look fucking gnarly. Hey, what size did you get? I didn't ask. The smallest I could. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say you're not gonna need too much. I know. <laughs> I check the cat. I, I turn my back and Jay has like a large for freaking five guys. Those whole things just full of fries. <laughs> Cody told me to have one size, one bag. Cause I looked at the calorie comparison to this and the large fry from Chick Fil A, and they're like the same. I was like, oh. Yeah, but if, well, Five Guys, it's like you get the container and then they like put a whole scoop on top yeah, of dude, it. Yeah, dude, they're regular fry, bro. Yeah, they're regular, massive. I mean, shit, you pay the money that you can get, the, get your fries with. It's odd. I just know this is going to make me super fucking thirsty. <laughs> it's odd, but I want like a greasy burger or chocolate. That's what I really want. It's odd, bro. I could do like the other uh, contest prep competitor that reached out to me. He told me he was doing Funyuns and peanut butter. That. I was really trying to figure out the science behind it and like even try and comprehend what the coach was thinking, but he carved up and before getting on stage, sorry, pumped up before getting on stage with gummy bears peanut butter and Funyun chips. And ask them for it. Well, it. Like oh, well done, beef bone. <laughs> to go. <laughs> to, to go. Well done, beef bone. So you guys don't have to see it in the restaurant. It's gotta be the worst. That, that right. might be worth the video though. That might be worth going just to ask them like, can I get this? Yeah, I think that's but I need it well done. They, like, they probably back, back and forth. Yeah. Well, them that could probably do pretty well. Yeah, until you know, Gordon Ramsay, you know, I'm waiting right, for. I have allergies. It needs to be well done. Yeah, it's the, not sure well, that's related, but I need you to cook out anything in case you came in contact with a peanut or strawberry. <laughs> well done. Gordon comes out himself. That'd be that's at least call, a million call, views. Calls me, calls me an idiot sandwich. Oh, what time are you gonna wake up tomorrow? That's I know you were talking I'm, about. You said, I'm, are you gonna wake I'm up? Most likely be up anywhere from five to six a.m. Perfect. I will not be up at five, but I'm down for like you know six. Yeah, absolutely. Like he'll probably, I probably have him meet me here at like seven. I'll probably already have my first meal in, and then yeah, because I don't really care what you look like upon waking. Waking, it's just I want you to wake up, get the meal in, and then like thirty minutes after, we're gonna see what you look like. Yeah. You know, that's really all it is. 
Because I, I seriously doubt you're gonna be like spilled. Yeah. If anything, you're gonna be flat. You're either gonna be on point or gonna be flat. It's gonna be one of those two. But after the fries, we had two rice cakes, some almond butter. It's all of our food for the night. We've taken all of our pills for the night, all of our water. It is eight o'clock. We wake up tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. It's prejudging for classic. And that's where we're really gonna find out, you know, where our placing is. Obviously, the judges could rejudge us again on finals, but it's extremely rare, and we're gonna know where we're at. Um, you guys, in the last video, uh, like a mental update, it like kind of was like, uh, I don't know. I'm confident, but I'm, I'm kind of like emotionless in a sense. Like, there's not much that I'm feeling. We'll see as I like lay down next, try to fall asleep. But like, I know that. I look the best I ever have, and the fact that Cody is confident that we are top three, he didn't say that last year. Cody's very, very, he don't he don't play, it don't matter, it don't matter if I'm supposed to be a star client, whatever, like, Cody calls it how it is, and so, and I've had a couple other, uh, I guess say reputable people, you know, reach out and be like, hey bro, like, I think, you know, you really got a good chance this year, uh, that, I never got, I guess, compliments from like that in the past. So I would be surprised if there's, you know, a handful of other people that look better than me in my class. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how we feel in the morning. It's, I really like, it's kind of weird. I'm not like nervous. I guess kind of confident. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little excited, but like, it's, it's a whole bunch going on. Like, there's a little bit of anxiety. We're nervous. Uh, we got a ton of people here. Uh, like, Chase's parents are here. Calvitt's here. Fucking Cody's here. Eddie's here. We got a ton of people watching us. Like, you guys. And so, we're going to find out. So, we'll wake up tomorrow. I might film a little clip on my phone of me eating my first meal. Or we'll just catch it when Eddie comes over here. We'll get our tan. And then, um, yeah. You guys will see me. We won't be able to bring you guys backstage. You can't take any videos or pictures backstage, not even on your phone. So once I go to backstage, that'll be it. Uh, Eddie can't have his camera out in the fucking auditorium thing. So I don't know. We we shall see. Uh, but I appreciate you guys. And regardless of, of what happens, I've been trying to tell myself that you know there is no failure. Right? This prep has brought a lot of us, a lot out of us. Uh, mentally, physically, uh, emotionally, we've grown a lot as a person. Uh, we've built our relationship back up with God, and at the end of the day, like He's got my back as long as I continue to leave with good intention. And uh, I don't know. I'm just saying, for anyone who doesn't believe, we end up going pro, and this is the year. This prep, I started giving my life to God. And I've never been, you guys never heard me talk about religion or anything like that. I started making sure if I'm in town, I'm going to church on Sunday. If I miss it, I'm watching the service. Like, really investing in my relationship and my faith. I'm just saying, bro, how, you, how can you fight that, man? How could you fight that? But I will see you guys in the morning. We're going to attempt to get some sleep. It's always a pain in the ass to sleep before show day. But we got a long weekend ahead of us. And, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, it is five in the morning. Uh, we were able to go to the bathroom twice. Looking super crispy. Definitely flattened out a little bit, but we got five ounces of rice and three ounces of white meat, and then this Cody won't be up till six, so we're just gonna be chilling till then. Um, I thought about maybe going and getting my second coat of tan just to get it knocked out, but we got time on that. But I'm excited to eat this. I'm hungry, we're tired, and uh, we're ready to rock. It is show day, it is the day of pre judging. Um, you guys saw a little clip earlier. We've already had one meal we're supposed to eat after we get this tan, but. We got our handy dandy cock sock. We're gonna get our tan. We probably won't be on stage for another four to five hours. I don't know how fast they'll move through all the bodybuilding. Um, but I'm excited. Hopefully uh, when we walk out of here, we'll, uh, we'll have the confidence to buy ourselves a IFB Pro track suit.
when the ash cheeks are, when the ash cheeks are shredded, that's when you know it's real. Nice. Yeah, core's still looking good. Yeah, I was worried about the second meal. I wasn't sure your body could do it, but uh, I think it worked pretty well. Yeah, you look like my anatomy textbook right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're probably not going to do any more food moving forward, but we'll definitely do uh, solid on rice cakes. It's pretty much how you're going to get moving forward. I boy Cal the hair, man. I put it on sunscreen. What's up, YouTube? What the fuck is going on, YouTube? Champ is, champ is there. Second champ is here. So my question is, what do you think my body fat percentage actually is? Not, not, not based on actually? TikTok comments. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Somewhere between six to eight. It's just, they look so close. And someone's like, oh, I, you know, I'm single digit. It's really hard to tell. Are they six, seven, or eight? They all look the same. But you are single digit. Can I tell you you're six? I don't know. But you're lean. Your butt cheeks have striations. Your shoulders have striations. Last year, I think you said that we were in like the low sixes at the universe. Yeah. And we are leaner than we are much leaner than that. Because I think it's literally just, it's just right here. It's the only spot right on my butt cheeks where I think there's any fat. Yeah, you got to pay for this premium content though. And what's crazy yeah. is like this is, as we've dried out, like they've come in more. Like this is not how it looked at the Texas show. Yeah. But like, there's some fat there. That's like about it. And quads wise, quads wise, uh, quads wise alone, like when you take a step, like it's ridiculous. You don't even got to flex it. Your, your legs are fully in. Like look at it. Like your legs are fully in. Like just stand in. So flex it fully, put one leg forward. It's insane. <laughs> it's disgusting. So we are going down uh, just to kind of figure out. I mean, it's better to be there early. We don't know how fast the show's going to be running or anything like that. So we need to get some salt, some rice cakes. So I don't think I'll need more than this. The rice cakes. Rice cakes, salt, bands, sweetest fish. Good to go. I think that's all we need. We 23 and 26 weeks? No. I think, I think we started 26 weeks out from this. Yeah, it's been, it's been over 20. I don't know the exact 21 versus 23, it's but it, it's, been about a five, it's been about a five month breath. And uh, the Two. past, I guess, three, three years of my life dedicated to this, and we get to find out a couple hours.
Well, damn. We'll find out. There's two people to my right. I mean, worst comes to worst, it looked like you were third, but it's still kind of hard to tell. But like she said, it was a weird number. There was a lot like directly in the box because yeah. they were both standing in the box. That was a big class. <laughs> that was a really big class. It's a lot. It was a it was like 50. <laughs> we were sitting there for 30, 30 something. They're around the same. Yeah. C is a lot smaller, D is a lot smaller. But like, class B is like advertised, so it's everyone and their mother. Is your weight cap 189? So we got six pounds. I mean, regardless, we're gonna get a lot bigger this offseason. Awesome. So. Alright. That's all that matters. Where's this cold? Shorts on. <laughs> they were flaming me on live. <laughs> Saying what? Because I couldn't hold their like, shaky warrior. So, the head judge determines where everyone stands, but like, there's like eight judges and then how they place everyone. I didn't get moved, and I'm in like that third spot. There was eight total. And so you have two in the very center and then one on the outside. I was one of the ones on the outside. They changed out the three next to me. Um, so we're for sure top four, which is an improvement from last year. Uh, it's obviously that upper body still needs to catch up, but we still have immense physique. Now, what we'll really like, I just, I literally, this is like a Nick Strength Power Greg Doucette video, is that I somehow turned pro in men's physique, but I didn't go pro in classic, and I have like amazing legs. That'd be kind of funny, but we're waiting for Cody to get up here. We have one more meal. Um, and then, you know, depending on where we're at in men's physique, I gotta make the decision on if I wanna push for North Americans. This is one of the most competitive national shows and, you know, a top four here. If I would've brought this physique to the universe last year, I think I'd go pro without a doubt in my mind. Uh, I think there's 30 guys in my class, super stacked. I don't know if Tyrell made it to the first call outs. Uh, that's the dude that got me into bodybuilding. He was competing here, so. Uh, he placed third at the universe, and then I don't know if he got first call outs. I didn't hear his number called, but we'll see. We're just gonna be chilling out till tomorrow. I'm super exhausted. My chest is sore. I'm curious what we're gonna get food wise. What am I eating? Uh, let's get some water in you first. Let's do like four ounces to get you back to life and like bring you, you know, four anything. We'll do start with that. But yeah, we'll grab some. Uh, if you have any red meat, we'll do something like that just to give you a nice pump. Get you back to life, get some nutrients in you. Like ASAP, ASAP? Yeah, there's no, if I sleep, because I'll probably knock. I've been up since four. I know. So I'll, 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 alarm, bro. You set the shit um, for like seven, five minutes and you wake up. No, I probably won't sleep. I mean, I'll, I'll try. Ugh. All right. It's just me and you. There's no one else in here. Uh, we've had some time to sit back and think. I'm actually really confident about men's physique tomorrow, which is weird. Um... And I think it'd be kind of, I don't know. I mean, hey, God has funny ways of working, right? You know, we thought we wanted the pro card. That's been the goal that we're chasing, you know, to complete the dream. And you know, originally when we started bodybuilding, it was in men's physique. It was training for men's physique. It wasn't until my legs blew up that we switched over to classic. But my first two shows were going to be men's physique. Because um, we're, 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 we're diced. I think our back shot's super money. Uh, and now that we fixed our, fixed our front pose, I think we can hang with some, some bigger dudes. Obviously, that provides where we lack our size, but it's really in the arms that we're lacking. I mean, there's some other places, but I don't know. I got a burst of energy. I went on live. I don't know. Uh, maybe we're top three in, in classic. It's so hard to tell. Regardless, um, it's funny because Chase's parents are staying till Monday, and originally we were staying till Sunday, and it was I mean, I'll tell you guys everything. It cost me $1,000 to stay here an extra day, to stay all of Sunday. Originally, we were going to leave at 3. Uh, like, we would have about to 3 o'clock before we had to go to the airport. Um, but, like, Chase's parents flew out to watch me compete. Like, you guys know, like, family, it's, bro, what's tatted on my chest is family doesn't always mean blood. And, like, I don't know, to, to feel a part of their family... Uh, the love is like absolutely insane. The fact that they came out here to see me, like, uh, I want to do nothing more than GoPro in front of them. Like, that'd be so, like, uh, and we got, we have so many people here supporting. That's like, fuck, bro. Because I might not have that opportunity again. The next time I compete, if it's not here, 
for like the pro card I might not have the opportunity to go pro in front of all these people that like love and support me so like I really want to bring it home uh, immensely but I decided to extend the stay and originally I was like ah we'll kind of see how classic goes we'll see how like men's physique goes before we go like, extend the stay like and I'm like bro like what I was like you know, and I was like I'm extending the stay like I want to spend the day with like her family and like get to you know go explore Vegas like regardless of the result I'm not gonna hang my head we brought our fucking best our best and that's so cliche but that's what people say like there's nothing I can do about it I literally like like last year I thought I brought my best no we could have got better we could have showed up leaner last year we showed up four pounds lighter this year and I'm bigger um like we had more we had more to pull and we found out a lot about ourselves as prep uh, you know we came back in touch with our faith uh, I learned a lot about me mentally and physically what I'm able to push my body and suffer through I learned you know it put Chase and I's relationship to the test and I'm making through this only is gonna make us stronger uh, we've had a lot of business successes um, like we had a lot of things going for us this prep regardless of the end result of pro card or not like i brought my best and regardless it just would change how long our off season is regardless we got our off season ahead of us we have to grow if we go pro i got another 13 pounds of muscle muscle to put on if we don't go pro i got about six six to eight that i can play around probably closer to six that i can play around with so it's less so a little bit less of an off season but Regardless, there's more work to be done, and and it, and it doesn't just stop here, right? Because I want to be, I want to be a good pro. I know I'm gonna go pro. It's just a matter of time. So we'll see, we'll see where we end up. But I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update. I've had three meals since the since the show. We're still holding on. Uh, water's cut. I am so fucking thirsty. It's not even funny. We ordered our fry. We're gonna get a fry, and then maybe some rice cakes with some almond butter, but. We are, we are exhausted and, and ready to start the day tomorrow. Like, I just want it to be tomorrow. And I can go out there and fucking pose for Memphis Zeke. And I don't know, I want to I wanna bring you guys, I want to bring home a, a, a Memphis Zeke pro card. Like, I think, I think I can do it. It's easier, there's more classes and more opportunities in Memphis Zeke. So, we'll see how we do. Regardless, bro, I can place fucking fifth in Memphis Zeke. Like, my butt cheeks were shredded, bro. I was fucking so shredded. I can't wait to show you guys. You guys probably already saw it in the video, to be honest. But, like, dude, I did everything. I controlled everything. My posing on fucking point. I'm first in the pose. I'm holding the pose. I'm not shaking. I'm composed. I'm not sweating. That's my control. That's from practicing my posing and practicing my posing and posing hard and taking it serious. I showed up fucking dice. I can't control. Yeah, maybe we could have had a longer offseason, but, like, I can't control how much muscle mass I have. I can control how lean I am, bust my ass. And so, I don't know, I'm proud. I think I'm I'm Cody's most dreaded client. I don't know, don't, don't, don't tell him I said that. But we still got a whole nother day. And then uh, just get to kick back and, and relax a little bit. But it's been a crazy journey. Uh, obviously, that'd be bullshit if I said I wasn't disappointed. Like, we wanna go pro, you spend all this money. It's a very expensive trip. And then you fall short and it's like, fuck, man. It's like, dude, we did the same. We've made the same mistake three years now. This will be a third national show of not waiting enough. We know it's just a matter of if because we haven't been training that long. But, like, we just jumped the gun. Jumped the gun. And this year, bro, I got to 220 in the office. It's like, yeah, this is going to be the year. But I don't know. We shall see. It's not over yet until the fat lady fucking sings, baby. But we meet again. Not going to lie. I would trade this for a DC or a Gatorade so fast. Mm. Shit is busting. About, about seven o'clock. Running our fry. Cody should be here in a minute. I think we're gonna have rice cakes with almond butter after this. I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen those chest veins pop out before. Yeah, that's what I'm like, damn, this shit is happening now. <laughs> Couple meals in, added some sodium back in. How we looking? Nasty. Better. Better. Yeah, his core's tight too, and this is like after all the meals, and his core's still tight. I literally just ate a fry. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say he just ate some fries and some uh, protein, so his core's stupid chest, tight. Chest is pumped as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the hand that's off, the second hand that's off, that's the second time you go around, you gotta go around the
Good. your ways. Yeah. 185.80. Looking pretty good though. Looking pretty good. Where'd you get five? Five guys. Six. Fifty. Fifty. I ate them. Yeah. I was gonna do it. We'll we'll talk about tomorrow depending how you feel. But we'll definitely do probably like three ounces of meat and like five ounces of carbs. For meal number one at least. And then hypothetically, if you had to get, if you had to guess, what time do you think you're gonna go on stage for the first class? Because I assume you, classic is at night for finals. I think it's going to be faster. It should be a lot faster. All right, Sean. That is the end of day one. Pre-judging for classic. No clue what the fuck we, we are going to place really up in the air. But we're going to try to get some rest. Because we got pre-judging for men's physique. The good old board shorts tomorrow. So, I don't know. But I will catch you guys early in the morning. And uh, hopefully we don't look like shit in the morning. But, uh... No promises. Sweet dreams, motherfuckers. Good morning, you guys. Um, I just want to get soccer jersey. We love to see it. Boy, if you still like fake sleep, we've had one meal so far. All of our water pills and everything. Obviously, a little flatter than we were. Last night, but the core is still super dicey. Have right, you guys didn't know we have our Discord? If you guys aren't part of the Discord family, you guys need to join it. But there's actually some people that live out here in Vegas, and uh, I just happened to check the chat last night, and uh, they tagged him. His name's Gaio, and they asked, uh, they're like, "Hey, are you going?" And he was like, "Had to take care of some financial stuff, couldn't afford tickets so much." So I was like. That's like fucked up. Like he, I don't want someone. The reason they don't come get to see me is like some financial issue. So we send money to buy tickets. So Guile, we'll make sure that we we put you in the video later. But I don't know. I typically wouldn't show stuff like that. But I don't know. It's just one of those things that like I don't think social media gets to see the side of me, the super selfless side, the stuff that I do for everyone. It's not just you know homies, supporters, stuff like that, but like also the other people around me, me putting people on, but uh, I'm not doing that to brag or whatever, but like, it's like the people that support you, always in Discord, super active, he's the affiliate for the brand, like, you gotta, you gotta show love back. I feel, I guess, worn down. What about the, uh, the dehydration aspect? Because I mean, we've never done a show, or you've never done a show, dehydrate this day, dehydrate the next day. Um, it's not terrible right now. It's not. I was super thirsty last night. I'm like, extremely thirsty. And I got to try and make it worse. But your, like, your face looks a little bit more normal now. Before you went to bed last night, your face was sucked all the way in. So I think getting a little water before bed, like getting some food, probably helped you a little bit. And yeah. some salt. Probably filled you out some. Yeah, but I'm alive. I'm chilling. That's all I need to hear. We are got the dogs out. We're getting ready to head down. Uh, kind of get a judge on how things are going to be moving. And then, uh, yeah. Get ready to hop on stage. Four twenty-one, four twenty-two, four thirty-one. 
Thank you, gentlemen. What's up, Randy? Hey, I got your money back. I know, you that revenge. Yeah, that's what I said. Hey, did, hey, I was sitting down, dude. I said, hey. I, told him, I, told I said, him Jay's got to revenge me, bro. That's what I told him. I said, hey. Uh, we'll have to watch the tape back. I haven't seen it. Uh, we might have just turned pro. I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to jinx too much, but I think we were center stage. We're splitting you're, it. You're, you're in the mix. Yeah, yeah. Could be first, could be second, could be third, but you're you're in the mix. <laughs> you're, you're this mix, close. We're <laughs> we going we gonna to find okay, out. All right. <laughs> He's the champion, dude. We're gonna go eat like kings tonight. We'll find out. We're in the mix. Oh, Why you Cody, Cody wants me to be sleeping right now, but because you have to let your leg limp, you know. Oh. You can't really. You stand. Oh, really? Yeah. You just don't squeeze your cheek. But we got some injectable L carnitine, super fire, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna get Kevin right. <laughs> oh, you know you're good. Yeah. I'm good. Ooh, if he went in slow for the kill. Oh, that shit burns, boy. Yeah, you want to throw a little bit. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel it. Sin City, we here. You got a hairy ass. If you ever did classic, you have to get someone to shave that shit. Yeah, bro. I got a fucking mean ass, hairy ass boy. <laughs> Ooh! Just like that, that boy's gonna be feeling great. So I ran a little bit on prep. Like, we, we went out to LA. I was feeling super tired post flight and super worn down. I took it and I felt fucking amazing. The problem was. I already pinned like four or five times a week. And I didn't want to have to pin that every other day. I'd run out of place to <laughs> fucking put the needle. So, oh but we're just chilling. So right, I sent Cody an update in like 30 no, minutes. My face is so and, wide. Uh, oh, you guys have the key. We get to find out, brother. We fucking do it. Fifth place, we'll go to Ryan Sibley. In fourth place, Elijah Owens. Yeah. 
26 weeks of Whew. hard fucking work. Literally the past fucking, what, three years of my life dedicated to this and we fucking did it. That shit's so crazy. And still like, oh, and we'll, like this right here, came here two years ago at this, at USA's, it was in, it was in Arizona. I placed bottom 16, didn't place. This is after winning the Europa, so like, I thought I was the shit. And I remember looking at all these IFBB Pro jackets, like, oh, dude, I want to buy one. Like, I'm going to get one because, you know, I'm going to go pro. Man, I got fucking work. So we ended up buying an FPC one. But shout out to Wifey. She, she copped us. But we got the IFBB Pro zip up. Did they give us two zip ups? You got two zip ups. No, 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 no. Two black zip ups. Oh, these are pants. And so we got the tracksuit, the IFBB. Oh, man. Shout out Gaio for pulling up. Uh, that's who we bought the ticket for so glad we got to see him and now uh, we just get to enjoy Some time with, with the fam. Wait, can you show on the shirt now? Oh yeah. We can show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we worked on a design and this really bothered me because I hate doing stuff Beforehand like the same national show this one. I went I made my Cardillo belt It said Lane on the back IFBB Pro and I got fucking work. So these are going to be out by the time you guys see these, this video. I'll keep the pre-order open, but we have our championship show day tease for going pro. Every champion started with a dream. We have the Chasers champion. It says Dream Chasers down here, and you guys already know a dream means nothing if you leave it on the pillow. And so these are one of our hardest designs. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a pre-order ish so it'll be on the website for a limited amount of time however many sell sell and then uh i'll get everyone's orders out no yo where were we yeah, at? I, wanna, yeah. I, wanna, I wanna make sure we got a picture yeah, in there man. bro congrats bro thank you brother i appreciate it badass dude That's hard fair. work fucking paid That's off That's it right there she, maybe i should just put his on necklace and bring this everywhere i gotta be that guy there you go <laughs> damn it i'll be the first i'd be proud of you bro <laughs> <laughs> You think? Yeah. Oh, I saw. Oh, I, well, I think we picked it. <laughs> she called it. She called it. Dabble in that a couple of things. We were, we were debating what you're going to feel like tomorrow morning after it, but yeah. it should be okay for tonight. Pretty good. I was pretty good when I had the cheesecake. I didn't finish everything. But I just want to taste it. But now. Exactly. I forgot to bring the enzyme, but I was going to run the other one. Menu, Jay. I, didn't, I didn't see that on the menu. Uh, we gonna let it cool down. And we gonna pass it around. Everybody's gotta get some. Yeah. Gotta get some of that. Some of that after, right, man. You're a liar. That is. I'm eating sloppy or rice warmed up in a pan. Then rice cake. Everything's really hot. First bite, let's see. Once again, we're eating a burger post show. It's just tradition, I guess. That's a really good burger. <laughs> That's better than cheesecake. I can't be mad at that. Oh damn, there's jalapenos in there? Okay. We're all gonna enjoy the food. I catch you guys at dessert, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's not Eddie. No, it's only it's been like what five minutes? <laughs> not even. Bro, I had like two baby shrimp tacos. Look at your fucking pinch this burger before mine, dude. Look at Eddie's burger. <laughs> I mean, like everybody's still. What, what's next? <laughs> well, hey, I looked at Joey. Jay, I said, hey, would you ever think in your life you'd pay 
to watch dudes in fucking thongs. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> he told me that. I said, hey. I said, no. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I can't do that. I can do this, though. Ooh. You gotta get the meat over. The ice cream kind of looks like butter from fucking uh, from Roadhouse. That's a lead. Is it uh, good? Yeah. This whole thing is getting body. Like, you know, body. Body. Come on, just one celebration shot. One shot of water? One shot. It's his body, not mine. I'm not his dad. His body is yours. All the way. All the way I'm taking a shot if everyone does it. Everyone has to take a shot? Everyone want to take a shot? Tequila. I don't care what it is. Or we can wait three weeks. It don't matter. I wouldn't care now. All we have is now. All we have is now. I care. Wait, it's what? Family doesn't always mean blood. Yes, sir. Drop the touch flat. I keep it pro, baby. I'm thirsty. All right, so we gave we gave our like thank you dinner to everyone. Uh, always, and it's like one of my favorite things to do. It's something that when I was younger, I always wanted to be able to do is be in a position to like buy dinner for everyone. So like, of course we sneak the card to the to the waitress or whatever, and like obviously yeah, everyone everyone can like hold their own, but it's just like a super nice dish. But now we're in some. How do you pronounce this place? Ghirardelli. Yeah, yeah, what she said. Ghirardelli. Uh, Ghirardelli. Gotta get some ice cream. Yeah. I'm debating between a sundae or... Uh, a shake. shake. Yeah. Can I do... What was it? Can I do the double uh, chocolate half fudge sundae? Double chocolate half fudge? Can I get a brownie in that by any chance? You want a brownie with that? Yeah. Yeah. Half, we can add a half a brownie to it for you. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Awesome little bag. Hey, nothing special. The water bottle. Uh, the water knew you went pro, bro. I knew something. I need this. This is what I need. You can just buy it right now. I should. I should. How much is it? How much is it? Too much. Forty dollars. Bro, I'm broke. Too much. Can't afford this. Yeah, they say everything. It's been one long prep. Did it. Did it. Congratulations, bro. Congrats, brother. Love you, buddy. Thank you, bro. Yeah, just let us know if you're going to breakfast tomorrow. I'm sure. Yeah, you don't find them to eat, bro. I don't even want to think about food, bro. I don't even want food. July 29th. Or is it the 30th? I think it's the 29th. 29th. It is a day that I will remember for the rest of my life. This prep, I remember. We finally had the lifelong. I can't say lifelong, but you know, ever since we decided to to hop on dye water, and I made the decision that I was going to be a professional bodybuilder. IFBB Pro. Uh, we've dedicated our life to this. Learning about the sport, pushing ourselves, I mean, to new limits, um, and like just putting our body through it. Uh, our body has taken a beating this prep, and uh, along with our mind. And there's been tons of sacrifices that we've made in missing out on fun events, adding stress to relationships, not being able to do certain things, and stuff like that. But it was all worth it because it was all for for this guy right here. And the, the craziest part about this, you guys look at me, you guys think classic, but we went pro in men's physique. And it just goes to show that like, as long as you're, you're set on your goals, you can be, and you're willing to be flexible in your approach, sometimes the path that you thought was gonna get you to your goal isn't gonna get there. But that doesn't mean that you're not gonna get there. If you have aspirations, you know, you're trying to be a millionaire, and you know, you started up this one business that didn't work out, doesn't mean you're not gonna be a millionaire. Maybe it's the next business you start. Or maybe it's the fourth business you start. This is my third national show that I've done. We went from unplaced to fifth last year and then pro card this year. We got fourth in classic in a lot more competitive class. So in classic we had 30 guys in our class. And in Men's Physique we had 30 guys in our class. So we beat out, you know, close to 60 other guys to to earn earn this right here and once you got the card it doesn't matter we can compete in anything uh, and the best part is that I've got to document this journey anyone who's been with me for like all the road to pros like 
this is a byproduct of you guys too. Like this isn't just me. Because without you guys and the support, there is no Jay Lane. Like I don't get to do this. I don't get the luxury of being able to do this and you know, you know, me being able to cover dinner or like have Eddie out here filming all this. Like that's a byproduct of you guys supporting me and believing in me. And the journey doesn't end here. We're gonna make it to the Olympia. I'm going to win a pro show. It's gonna take some time now. We got, we got a lot of size to put on and a lot of work to do, but you guys, once again, those of you guys that stick around are gonna get to see, you know, the next the next dream like, come true. Like, I don't know, I've never worked so hard for anything in my life. And like, it's still like, I've had moments where it started to hit and I feel like the emotions run and then like, other moments are like, bro, you're a fucking pro. Like, I don't know, it's still like, I'm sure once I like lay down and like, can calm down, like it'll all, all start to hit and as the days go on and people are coming up and congratulating me and all that. And I have a ton of messages and stuff for once we go through that, but you know, it all started with a dream, bro. And like, I got, I've got, i gotten laughed at when I said that I was gonna go pro in bodybuilding, I was gonna, I was gonna be a bodybuilder and all that shit, but I didn't care. And like, we got plenty of negative comments on TikTok saying that I wasn't gonna go pro or I'm too small or too this or too that. Well, shit, I'm a fucking IP pro, so none of that shit fucking matters. Um, but that's, that's the end of our show day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, none of this is possible without you guys. And as always, it's been real. Actually, before we go out, obviously thank you to you guys, but we just gotta say a huge thank you to Cody. Obviously, none of this is possible without Cody, right? He's the mastermind behind this. He tells me what to do and I execute, right? So like, credit goes to him, same way it goes to me. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be here without him, so huge thank you to Cody. Uh, huge shout out to Eddie behind the camera for documenting it all. And then, uh, obviously huge shout out to the man upstairs for putting me in this place and allowing me to, you know, impact others and inspire others and encourage them. And then last but not least, to this one over here for, for dealing with me throughout this prep and, and the last prep. Uh, last time she saw her, her man compete at Nationals, I was a loser. I didn't get the pro card. We fell short. Uh, stay there encouraging. And this prep, we've had our ups and downs, but like, if we can make it through this, there's down, we can make it through anything. So, shout out, shout out to Wifey for, for holding it down and for the peanut butter cups. But that's, that's all I got. My stomach is rot. I've been farting nonstop. And, I'm just fucking nah, bro. Y'all don't realize we didn't go super crazy. You guys saw me like I didn't finish my fries. I bodied the lava cake. I didn't finish that Sunday. I didn't finish the smoothie, and that's it. I had fucking Pedialyte and a little bit of Gatorade electrolytes. I didn't even finish the Pedialyte, but like we'll, we'll enjoy ourselves a little bit tomorrow. But like we got we got work to do, man. It's it's on to the next, bro. I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. There's more. There's more dreams on my pillow that pertain to bodybuilding. Or actually, they not on my pillow. I'm not gonna leave them on the pillow. You know what, that's my sign. I've been talking too fucking long. Oh, uh, hey, show day shirts, you guys are watching this, are out now. Um, limited time only, it is a pre-order, so as many as you guys buy is however many I'll add up there, but I will be closing the site. And uh, obviously this is like the best way to support me and like this is in honor of, of going pro. So this, this is probably like my favorite design because it means the most, but I appreciate you guys. Hold on. Ugh. Jesus Christ, that hurt. You gotta leave cut that. that no, nah, no, nah, don't cut that <laughs> shit, bro. Cut that we, we keep it a buck, one take, everyone knows the rules. I'm gonna have another one coming. But as always, it's been real, it's been true. It's your boy. I FBB Pro J Lane and go chase your motherfucking dreams. Congratulations on the pro card, Jay. We all knew it was coming eventually. You have worked your ass off. It has been a pleasure to watch you grow both as a man and as an athlete. And I can't wait to see what God has in store for you next. Congrats, Jay, on your IBB Pro card. Nobody deserves it more than you do for all that you do for all, everybody in the community. Again. You got this. Congratulations, Jay, on your new pro card. You did your absolute best. Keep killing it on any future plans. 
Much love from the bottom of my heart. Love you, bro. Congratulations, Jay. This is an achievement you've been fighting for since day one. It's been inspiring to see you never give up and persevere. You deserve it, man. I want to say congratulations. We all know how much you put into the sport, how much you love this sport, and how much you've given this sport since you've been doing it. So I just want to say congrats, bro. We are now the IFU Pro Light Skin Duo. First out to do it. Nobody fucking with us. And I just want to say congrats, bro. Now it's on to the Olympia, baby. Jay, my man. IFB Pro. I knew you had it in you, bro. Well deserved. Going on, Jay, man. It's Zach Brickley here. I just seen that you got your, your pro card, man. Congratulations. That's a huge accomplishment. And, and truly inspiring for someone that's want to step on stage for the first time. I cannot wait to see where you go from here, man. Keep doing your thing, dog. Okay, congrats on getting that pro card, man. Such a surreal feeling. I'm so happy I got to be there for it. And nice to meet you and talk to you, man. And just know you've inspired me and others around you to keep uh, chasing our dreams. I, I honestly don't have the true words that can define how proud I am of you. Because you've talked about this for three straight years you said you were going to finish it where you started at, and you did exactly that you've persevered through so fucking much you've fought time in time out and it's honestly an inspiration to watch from behind the scenes a lot of things that people don't get to see i love you i'm proud of you and dinner's on me when you get back congratulations to the brand new ifbb pro jason lane yo jay it's your client nong man i'm so fucking proud of you and i know you wanted to go pro in classic but you know regardless got the card so proud of you and um you just inspired me to work that much harder on my prep now but yeah today's about you so happy for you man mr ifbb pro congratulations bro it's well deserved you worked your ass off you know and you went out there and you chased your dreams up next pro show up next olympia i'm here for it bro Good shit. What up, Jay, man? We just wanted to say congrats, congrats dog. Congrats, Jay Lane, man. We love you, Bubba. Yes, congrats, sir, baby. Brother. Congrats. I'm glad we got to witness greatness. Yeah! Jay, I'm so proud of you, and I'm so thankful I got to experience this with you. I love you so fucking much.